In this video, we're going to have a look into another decent antivirus solution named Panda Dome Essential. Those of you who've been wondering if this is something you wanna try, it's the right place and the right time for you to have a look into the installation process and look inside the features you're getting out of the box. In the end of this video, if you decide that you want to give it a try, I have crafted special discounts for you only if you visit this page here. The link in the description down below this video will bring you to this landing page. So you have quick access to three different Panda Dom products with special deal of 50% off the first year because you're watching my video. The bonuses are only available from my page and nowhere else. So once you are on this landing page, you can choose one of three different options. Panda Dom Essential, Panda Dom Advanced or Panda Dom Complete. And if you click on any of these buttons here, you will get redirected to a Panda Internet Store and you're getting 50% off all these three products. So now let's get started with the installation. If you go to this tab, the first one, uh, we can see that we can download for Mac, Windows, Android or iOS. For this review, I'll download for Windows since I'm using Windows. So let's click download. Download is complete. Let's click to open it. Confirm. Let's enter my activation code I got before this video. I'm going to blur it since I'm using this software myself. Now let's click next. Let's just accept defaults and click install. I think it should get installed in about two minutes. It's the usual installation time. As you can see, the installation process is fast and easy. It's copying files now. And updating the system info. That's it, it's installed. Uh, let's click open now. And now you are offered to enter your email address here and uh, if you want to use Panda Dome Essential in its full power, I recommend you entering your email address here. That means they are going to create you an account and later on if you're using Panda for more than one devices, you'll be able to control all these devices from one single dashboard. But at the moment, we are not going to put any email here because it's just a demonstration. So let's just close it now. Now, as it's installed, let's have a look into Panda DOM Essential user interface. I must say user interface here is very intuitive and it's easy to navigate. It's implemented in iPhone-like manner. It's uh, the design of this quick access panel. And you have all these features in front of you for quick access. If you go inside any of these features, uh, for example, let's go to save browsing here. You can see that you are able to click the gear button inside each option. And if you click the gear button, you are being sent into a more detailed settings screen for this specific option and also you can navigate uh, via diff you can navigate through different options that are also available via quick access panel here 
you're also able to navigate into each feature by using the burger menu here on the left if you click here open it and you go to settings you can see that every option is also available here from the left sidebar so it's pretty convenient you have two ways to navigate into option settings now let's quickly go through Panda DOM Essential features and see how they look like. First of all, let's check the firewall feature. If you go here, you can see this is the personal firewall. Let's just click and see what we have inside. As you can see, you can select three different options depending on where you're using your PC or laptop from. It can be home, work and public place if you click the gear button here you are able to make a detailed rules into each of the selected mode and here you can configure a rule for each application you can add or delete rules uh, you can uh, specify which IP addresses the specific application can access uh, which uh, ports or which protocols are allowed to be accessed uh, if you specify these settings here and you can allow or deny inbound and outbound connections so the firewall is uh, pretty much highly configurable let's close it now and let's click back and back again and let's check another option usb protection uh, let's go inside and see what we have here as you can see uh, there is a special feature here that's called vaccinate drive uh, what it does it uh, makes it possible for you to vaccinate usb device so it becomes less likely to infect any other windows computer by not letting it auto run the malware that can be present on the usb stick you can turn vaccinate feature on and off so it works automatically and also you can turn on and off the usb auto scan feature so now you got the idea and let's go to another option and another option will be the vpn the vpn is highly configurable if you click into gear button here uh, you can see that uh, you can enable or disable the vpn when restarting your pc uh, that means that you are able to be using the vpn at all times depending on which data limit you have on this vpn and you can also select the country that you want to use as your vpn server but i think yeah if we choose it now uh, we need to upgrade to premium because in panda dom essential since it's since it's a basic plan they only allow you automatic configuration and you can use up to 150 megabytes per day but if you want to upgrade uh, the upgrade option i think it's available for 10 bucks per month additional uh, payments or maybe you just need to upgrade to a higher tier plan of panda dom essential antivirus but this is just a nice addition so i'm not sure if you're going to be using it anyways it's uh, nice to be aware that you have it now let's click back and let's see the process monitor feature the process monitor allows you to see the list of all currently running processes and see their signatures uh, so you can you are able to know if uh, the process is signed or non-signed but if the process is not signed it doesn't necessarily mean that it's harmful it's uh, just a way for you to find the suspicious processes if you click view detailed report here you can see the signed and unsigned processes are marked with this checkbox uh, in this nice table and you can see all the processes that are currently running in your system also if you click uh, into each of these process 
uh, you can see the additional data but now we don't see anything since we just installed the panda dom essential antivirus you can also choose to block specific processes if you click block here you may block uh, the process that is not considered like a malware by panda but maybe you just want to uh, not let that process run on your system by some reason for example i i would block the one drive from microsoft since i'm not using it but it makes the system slower but it's up to you now let's click back and let's see the rescue kit feature the rescue kit feature allows you to create a rescue usb stick so you can clean another computer that has been infected and doesn't have panda dom installed yet you can also perform advanced scanning of the current machine from this feature but you will need to install the additional tool now if you click here detect advanced viruses the additional tool set would be installed now let's click back and let's see the wi-fi protection feature wi-fi protection feature allows you to get a complete security report for the current wi-fi network you are currently connected to as you can see my current wi-fi network has medium security and if i click here now i can see the more detailed report here and you can also open any of these sub options here and see even more detailed information so it makes so it helps you to protect uh, your wi-fi network and in case you're having your own wi-fi network it will help you to configure it so it becomes more secure now let's click back and let's check the virtual keyboard feature if you want to start using virtual keyboard feature uh, you will need to click open virtual keyboard here and another tool will, would get installed uh, just click yes here and the virtual keyboard what it does it allows you to enter the sensitive data in a more secured way so the key loggers uh, would not detect your key presses and you are more protected than if you're just using the keyboard so if you're entering your banking data or passwords it's recommended to use this nice feature virtual keyboard now let's see the last option i wanted to show you for this review and this is the save browsing if you go to save browsing uh, you can see the urls blocked and the malware detected uh, while browsing since i haven't been browsing anything yet so this list now is empty if you go to this uh, gear menu uh, detailed settings you are able to add trusted urls here so these urls would not get scanned as panda as panda would consider them as trusted and uh, would not interrupt your browsing process for example you might want to add google.com here and now it's in the list of trusted applications and now let's go back and see the actual scanning process of panda dom essential uh, now click to this scan icon and you can see that there are three scanning options available it's a critical areas only this is the fastest scan and full scan the slowest this might take several hours to complete and uh, there is the custom scan that makes it possible to scan specific folder for now let's check uh, how the custom scan works and let's scan uh, let's scan this folder called new folder let's click ok and the scanning is complete since uh, there are not many files in that folder as you can see it's pretty quick 
But if we go to scan again and uh, click all scan, as you can see, it's going to scan the entire system. You're basically, you're not uh, gonna want to be scanning the entire system all, all the time, maybe just once per month or something like that. Well, now let's just cancel it since I'm not going to make this video very long. One important note I'd like to make for you in regards of uh, Panda essential features is its Panda news feature. Uh, the Panda essential might become showing the annoying news pop-ups in this uh, tray area here. And if you, if you want to uh, get rid of them, you will need to just go to the settings menu here. And in the general section, scroll down and as you can see the Panda news section here, uh, you need to disable this radio buttons here and after that no any news will be appearing in this tray area here overall panda dom essential is a nice security product yet it's quite cheap and it's uh, it's having a rich list of features it has easy to use interface uh, that someone might like or dislike iPhone like quick uh, access panel it's just a matter of preference VPN and Wi-Fi scanner work nicely in conjunction offering even greater level of protection for your device uh, in case you are using it in different networks frequently VPN client comes with a data allowance of uh, 150 megabits per day uh, but the unlimited VPN data for up to five devices is offered uh, for additional 10 bucks a month if you are up to using VPN quite often Panda DOM Essential lacks some uh, nice features that I personally enjoy in other similar products and these features are passwords manager webcam spine protection and I think a file shredder it would be nice to have them but it's not essential for most users just my personal preference Panda DOM Essential is using three levels of protection heuristic engine watches the running processes behavior and uploads suspicious, suspicious files to cloud server to perform deep analysis to make sure you're not getting infected with a new threat so overall it's a medium level protection antivirus solution and it's worth looking into especially because uh, with my page here if you go to my page uh, this link is going to be added in the description of this video so from this page you can get a 50% off for the first year and you're basically getting Panda Dome Essential for one year for almost for free. As you can see, if we go to this website uh, with my uh, link, you're getting the Panda Dome Essential basic protection for 17.49 bucks per year, which is uh, actually nothing. And you can see the uh, feature set on this page and you you are able to choose which which features you want to have if you want to have parental controls uh, identity protection ransomware protection and data shield or maybe you want to have a password manager which is not present in uh, panda dom essential then you might want to get the complete edition for 3549 still it's quite cheap because uh, it's uh, using my discount here so that's it thanks for watching and if you like the video or maybe you have some questions feel free to leave comments and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thanks guys
See you in the next video.